couple more tips for yarn braids. I didn't do it in my last video, just thought about it. Um, when you get to the end of the braid, I always like to take the two pieces of hair that are wrapping around the other piece. I like to take them and tie them once, tie it once, tie it again, and then you hold all the pieces together, or you know, whatever, you don't have to hold them, and then you cut. And you can tie it three times, but um, I tie it twice for the size of my, my braid. Then I burn it. And then I kind of take my finger and, and, and pat it a little bit. Because I don't want to like do that like twisting. Because I want it to more look like a dread at the end and not like um, just any old braid. So, kind of, I don't know if you can see kind of do like a little push and kind of push together and push up with my finger just so that it looks like that and then oh when you're braiding sometimes you can have tension on your hair um, as you're braiding like say you get down down here and you're braiding and it's starting to hurt you know your hair you can take it put it in your mouth and then keep braiding that's what I did with a lot of my hair anyway I, well, and then I just kept braiding just so there wasn't any tension um yeah let's see here yeah and in my next video or actually in my next video this video right here I will show you this is one of the because I and one of my prior videos I was telling you how I was going to take these back braids out because I wanted to look more natural and I thought maybe it'd be cute if I had the black and then I had the brown but it doesn't really look natural to me so yeah make sure when you're taking your hair out that you cut way lower than your hair um, actually is way lower and this is I've done it um, ladies when I was in about 15 I put my own box braids in for the very first time um, and I had so many in and they were long and so when I went to take them down I just went and I almost cried after I had to you know took my hair out because I chopped off so much of my hair I'm even thinking about it now it upsets me like I'm about to come anyway don't do it cut cut lower way lower so I'm gonna cut down here BAM now this part is a part that might take longer but once you get to your actual hair that's when it should just go because you did the two strand twist if you do the two strand twist method so still trying to look cute for the camera one oh and then I'm gonna do another video on how I curl my uh, my hair I just I, I tried out a, a technique looks okay they're kind of coming out of the curls a little bit but I just want to see and yeah I think if all my hair looked like that it'd be cute so with and that was without any hot water because I see everyone else they're uh, dipping it in hot boiling water and I'm extremely clumsy and I just feel like I'm gonna burn my face off and I don't really have time for that so yeah all right, I'm gonna take this out real quick. I'm just gonna show you guys what hopefully, you know, when I go to take these down, because that's, uh, I see a lot of ladies, um, that's like the worst part of these uh, yarn braids is to take down, because it takes so long. Up, um, oh, I feel like I'm getting to my hair. Maybe that's just where I, I knotted it, but it feels like it's my hair, because it's, yeah, I think that's mine. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Oh, I'm 
come on. No, that was just a knot in my hair. Has it come up yet? Oh, is that my hair? Yeah. See that? See? I just, just took that yarn braid out. And then there's my hair. That was nothing. You know, and I heard a couple ladies like saying, that, and, and that's in a two strand twist. And then I just take it, unravel it a little bit, just by rolling my fingers around, go in from the top, pull it down. And if you don't wear them in that long, you have a whole nother hairstyle. I think those look pretty cool for, uh, oh, where'd they go? Two strand twist. You know, but um, anyway. That's how I do them. Um, I'm gonna, as uh, I have these in my hair, because I'm putting this video out as this is what's going on right now. So in about three weeks, I'm gonna take out <clears throat> a couple of the braids and just see if it works the exact same way, if I can just go <sighs> and then, you know, because that's what I was gonna say. I saw a couple other ladies and they'd have to take a rat tail comb or one lady was using a, uh, crochet needle and like you're using this metal stuff and they're sticking it in the yarn and pulling it sticking it pulling it and I'm like whoa I'm not about that life I'm not I'm not I'm trying to protect my hair I'm trying to grow my hair I'm not trying to rip it out I'm trying to make sure it stays you know that's the whole point of these styles is to protect our hair we don't want to have to battle with it and rip it and t all that's none of that can be good for your hair so you saw how easy it was to take i just literally just went and it came out you know there was no i didn't even use a comb you guys saw no comb involved but again that was only after having it in for about a day so that's why i'm going to come back in three weeks and update come back in another three weeks and let you guys know how my hair like it, once it's in the braid is it going to be matted in there is my hair going to get matted um so yeah i'll let you guys know thanks for listening please subscribe if you like my videos and you want me to make some more subscribe um yeah thanks and leave me some comments or don't have a nice day guys all right